Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back. We're going on with our lovely sea creature under the sea theme. And today we're going to be drawing a orca, otherwise known as a killer whale. And these are really beautiful, beautiful animals. We find them in our waters, even though they are quite rarely seen, but we do find them in our waters around Cape Town. And um, we are going to learn how to draw one today. An orca is really just black and white. So I've got my black pencil crown. A black pencil crown is not very that is not very dark. So if you do at home have a black koki or a black oil pastel, which has got a lovely dark color, then perhaps maybe use that instead to color in. I'm going to use the black pencil crown um, just so that we are sticking with what you have at home. But if you have something better to use, then you please, please, please use it. All right, we're going to start. Our orca, we're going to put his nose here. And his body's going to come around. And then his tail's going to bend down here with space for a lovely tall dorsal fin. So we're going to have a look at that over here. All right, let's start drawing. We're going to start with his nose down here. So I want to leave enough space up for his dorsal fin, but also enough space going down for his tail. So we're going to find the middle and we're just going to go a little bit below the middle, near the edge. And we're going to do just a sort of short stumpy nose like that. We're going to go up along his back gentle curved line and I'm imagining that you're getting to the middle of his back and we're going to put in the dorsal fin. Killer whales, some killer whales especially the males have very very tall very majestic dorsal fins so he needs a nice big tall dorsal fin unlike a, a dolphin that has a, a much shorter one. Right, we're going to go do his back continue on around his tail so I'm going to Imagine coming round and I'm going to let's do it in two pieces. One curving down and then we're going to curve down a bit more because his tail is actually going to be curving underneath. We're going to do one of his flukes. In fact, not one of his flukes. The tail, the tails together. The two parts of the tail together make are called a fluke. So that's one half of his fluke. We're going to put the other half in just now. Let's come back over here. We're going to go underneath his chin and we're going to stop sort of just in line with our dorsal fin where we're going to put in his other flippers on the side. So another gentle line coming out a bit and stop. Starting at the top we're going to put his, his um, flippers in. And we're going to join up now to here. So I want it to come up to make the tail bit thinner and then coming down. So imagine this line is jumping underneath flipper we don't want we want it to line up we don't want to start the tummy there we want to start it in line so let's go up and then we're going to come down to join up with this here there we go and we can draw in the other part of his flute We can also put on the other side of him, he'll have another fin. So let's put him as well in. Right, we're coming along. We're going to do his mouth and also along that line is part of his markings as well. I'm going to just turn my page a little bit so that I can reach here comfortably. Along the bottom here, we're going to just put a sort of straightish line. And it ends in a little smile. And 
then we're going to come down again to under his fin. And this is where his eye goes. So you can mark out where his eye is going to go. We then are going to carry on this line, this white line. And a, a killer whale's got this beautiful pattern on his back. So we're going to go along his belly. And then we're going to do this, I don't know what sort of shape you'd call this. We're going to do some curved lines up. And then we're going to do sort of like a big C. And then we're going to come down to join and blend in with that line down by his tail. He's starting to look like a killer whale, but he's definitely missing something very important. And that is that they have a sort of teardrop shape over his eye here. So it's quite a big sort of marking. There's white right over his eye. So there we have it. He's quite an easy one to, to color to draw. Um, the challenge is to get this tail bending around. At this point now, if there's anything that is bugging your eye, or that or there, there's a mistake line that you want to erase, then get your erasers out and correct them now. Spend a little time to make sure it's just the way you want it to be. I'm quite happy with mine, so I'm going to carry on. Um, as I said, I'm going to use my black pencil crown. Um, just because that's what you have at home, most of you. Um, there are a few places here where I'm going to have black next to black. And I don't want to lose that. So I'm going to start just by putting a little thin line of light blue. In fact, this light blue is not working so well. I'll use my dark blue. Just a thin line between where those blacks are going to be next to each other. So there's going to be two blacks. Here also, there's going to be two blacks next to each other. There's also going to be two blacks next to each other where these two flukes, or well, these are not flukes, these fins meet. This is white, black, next to black. Maybe I put a little bit over there in that corner. And I want to put a little bit around his eye because his eye is also going to be black. All right, and I'm going to get ready to color in. I'm going to leave this white. This is white, and this beautiful pattern here is white. The rest of him is black. So I'm going to fast forward this part so that you can see how it looks at the end. But I'm going to be mindful about my coloring in. If you want to try and use some of those lovely techniques of giving a general shade everywhere and then bring out some darker areas to try and bring out some of his shape, then you try and do that. Use what you have been learning in your previous lessons. So let's go. Right, I've got a general black everywhere. It's quite light still. I'm going to work into it a bit more. One thing I realized I left out was his blower hole. So I'm going to put that in. Um, just down on the top of his head. I'm going to add a little bit of blue in there as well just to make it show. I'm now going to finish coloring. I see I've forgotten his flippers. And then I'm going to just add some more shading with my black deepen deepen it where I can um, around the, the dorsal fin around the top of his his back his fluke so that um, just to draw attention to all the important parts that I can really start bringing him a bit more to life so I'm going to carry on with that
So what I'm doing here is um, I want the white to be just as dramatic as the black. And so to do that, I need that black next to the white to be really, really a bit bright, a bit darker. So I'm I'm just putting in a bit more effort just to put, make it a bit darker, especially around these white areas. Um, so that there's more contrast between the black and white. And that's going to really make the white cheer up. So I don't want to put, um, with a pencil crown, I'm not going to put black, dark, dark, dark black everywhere. But I do want to also make sure that I can get the best of that, that white as well. So I'm just going along down his sides a bit darker so that quite similar to what we do with the shark. So that we can get some more contrast just going next to that, that white. Show it off. My hand is getting quite tired. If you need to stop and have a break and stretch your fingers, and then you must do that. Um, we don't have to finish it all in one go. I know my hand is getting pretty tired from this colouring in. I'm enjoying it though. I'm, I'm quite pleased with how it's turning out. Alright boys and girls, I'm just about done. You can see that only, even though I'm only using one pencil crown, one black pencil crown, I'm able to do a lot by making, I think being very thoughtful about where I leave lighter areas, where I make it darker, where I want to draw my attention by adding different tones and I can get a really great result actually just by using a simple black pencil crown. Um, we did use our little trick of, of using that bit of blue just so that we can keep our black separated. But very simply, we have coloured them in with a basic black everywhere and then going dark in areas where I want to draw my attention and also showing off his white. What's going to show him off even better is a lovely, beautiful sea black background. So you can do that without me. I hope you enjoyed drawing an orca. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for more lovely under the sea drawings.